Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Side, and this is continuation of SSIS interview questions and answers. So today we are going to see one more real-time SSIS case study and interview question. So before going forward, if you haven't watched SSIS tutorial part 3, 8, 13, 22 and 50, then I would strongly recommend to watch all these videos before going forward. I will provide the link of these videos in the description of this video. So you can directly watch those videos from here. So go to the next slide and we'll see about the case study. So here as you could see, like first we need to get the data from the CSV file and loading that data into the SQL Server table. And after loading the data into the table, we need to move the source that is the CSV file to the archive folder. And parallelly we need to match the data that we have loaded in the table with the other table. If that is going to match, then we need to move the matching data into the Excel file from the SQL Server. So this is the scenario that we need to do. So first go to on the Excel file for the source data. We are having the data for the business entity ID, national ID number, login ID, job title, date of birth. So these are the employee related information that we have in the source. Now go to on the SSDT and we'll try to implement the package over there. So this is the SSDT and here we don't have anything as of now. So what we need to do, we need to design the package, but that package should be dynamic. Like our source will be the dynamic and your destination will be the dynamic. So at the runtime, we can make the changes. Let's get started with the design of the package. So first, like we need to load the data from the CSV file to the SQL Server table. So first we need to use the data flow task. So let me try to drag and drop the data flow task. Let me rename this data flow task as load data from csv to sql server table now let me double click on this and it will directly jump to the data flow panel so inside the data flow panel we could see the source and transformation along with the destination so here our source is the csv file so we can go in the other sources and here we could see the flat file source so we can drag and drop this flat file source right here. We need to load the data into the SQL Server table. So for that, we need to use the OLEDB destination. So we can drag and drop that. So here we require two connection managers, first for the source and second for the destination. But that should be dynamic, we could say. So for the source, as we can go inside the folder. So this is the source folder. So for that, we can create the package level parameter so we can directly go in the project.params and here we need to add a variable for the parameter so inside the parameter let me call this as source file path and the data type that should be a string and the value that we can directly copy from here and provide that right there now so we are okay with the source connection. Now go to on the package. Let me double click on this source and let me create the connection for the first time. So we can click on the new and it will open a window. So first here we need to choose the file name. So we can browse. So here instead of the text file, we need to select the CSV file. So here is the source. We can click on open. Now go to on the columns. So inside the columns, so everything looks good. We can directly click on OK. So we can check this checkbox as return null values from the source as null values in the data flow. Now go to the columns. So we require to have all these columns. Now we can click on OK. So here this connection manager is the static. So every time it is going to pick that path. Now we can click on that and we can directly go inside the property window. And here we should see the option for the expression so we can click on that and here we are having a property with the name of connection string so we can go on the connection string and inside the expression we can use the project level parameter that we have declared we can evaluate everything looks good we can click on ok and again ok so we are done with the flat file source now we need to connect this with the destination so our destination is the OLEDB destination 
so go to on the sql server and here we need to load the data on this employee data table let me try to execute this and here we could see we are having the columns like business entity id national id number login id along with all these columns so on this table we want to load the data so go to on the ssdt and here first we need to create the connection manager so the connection managers go to on this solution explorer here we could see the connection managers right click on that and click on the new connection manager so here we want to create the connection manager for the oledb so here we should see the option for the oledb connection manager we can click on add and here i have already created the connection for the adventure works 2k14 but let me try to delete that and click on new here we need to specify the server name so for that we could use this query like select at the rate at the rate server name let me try to copy this go to on the ssdt and paste that so here i am going to use the windows authentication you can use the use sql server authentication so as per access you can use those now we can see this database option so i want to connect with the adventure works 2k14 we can test the connection everything succeed we can click on ok and again ok so the connection manager that we have created which is the project level connection manager now double click on this oledb destination and connection manager is already selected so we are good with that inside the names of the tables or views we need to select the employee data table and go to on the mapping so inside the mapping everything looks good and we can click on ok so now we have done with the loading data from the csv file to the sql server table so once that part is done then we need to move the source file to the archive folder so for that we need to use the file system task so we can drag and drop the file system task here second we need to use the one more data flow task and on that data flow task we need to match the source data that is we have already loaded into the sql server table that is employee data with the existing data table so that we will do later first i am going to consider this flat file task and parallelly we can connect with the data flow task now let me double click on this file system task and here what we need to do we need to move the file from source to the destination so inside the source we are already have a project level parameter so we can select that so this is our source but inside the destination like on which folder we want to move that file that we need to declare either we can specify the static value by creating the connection or we can declare a variable so i am going to declare a variable and that should be the project level parameter let me click on okay go to on the project level parameter let me add a new parameter and this is for the archive folder path and this value should be a string and here we need to specify the value so here we could see this is the archive one so let me try to copy this and go back to here and paste that value and here we can use backslash like that now we can save this now go to on the package again and let me double click on this file system task here we can use as a variable so we can select as true and in the destination we need to select this folder path and if file is already available then we can replace or override that file so we are okay with that now we can click on okay so the movement of the file has been done now we need to consider this data flow task so let me double click on that and here first we need to get the data from the oledb source so for the oledb source we can drag and drop the oledb source and second we want to match that data with one of the existing table so for that we need to use the lookup transformation so once data is going to match then we need to load that data into the excel so for that we need to use the excel destination but if we go inside the sql server and check the data type inside the employee data table 
so here we could see we are having the varchar data type so it is not going to support the unicode characters but while we are going to move the data from any source to excel so that should be the unicode characters so for that what we need to do we need to use the data conversion so that we need to drag and drop in between lookup and excel destination so now everything is okay now we need to configure all these so for the oledb source our connection manager which we have created for the movement of the data from the csv file to the destination of the sql server so that can be utilized over here as well so let me double click on this oledb source connection manager is selected automatically now we need to select the table so our table is the employee data table where we have loaded the data go to the columns so we require to have all these columns now we can click on okay now we need to put that data pipeline with the lookup transformation now go to inside the lookup transformation and inside the lookup transformation i am okay with the full cache so our reference or the lookup that is inside the sql server table so we can use the oledb connection manager so first we look about that table so here we can go and this is our table which is the human resource employee table we can execute and here we are having all these values now go to on the ssdt again and here go to on the connections so connection that we have created for the connection manager is automatically selected for the table we need to select the human resource employee table go to on the columns here we need to do the lookup on which column so that is the business entity id so we can drag and drop from your source to available lookup columns so everything looks good and we can click on okay so let me go in the lookup again and here you can see specify how to handle the rows with no match entries so in the no match entries we can use the ignore failure or we can redirect rows to the no match output we can click on okay now let me connect this data pipeline with the data conversion and here we only consider lookup match output let me click on okay here double click on this and first let me select all these so here you could see we are having national id number which is string value login id string value job title string value marital status string value gender string value so only these columns are having string values so we need to convert all these from non unicode to the unicode so let me unselect business entity id and birth date after that hire date then all these columns so here convert this with the unicode string unicode string unicode string unicode string unicode string now we can click on okay let me connect this with the excel destination so as of now we have not created any excel destination go to on the folder and here we have this final so inside the final xyz dot xls so this is the excel file where we want to dump the data so having all these columns right here so let me close this and go back to here let me try to copy this go back to ssdt so for making this as dynamic again we need to go inside the project parameters let me add a parameter call this as excel destination this would be a string paste the value right here save this and close that double click on this excel destination and here first we need to create this excel connection manager so click on new we can browse and inside the final we can select that and click on open click on okay in the excel sheet we want to load the data into the excel destination go to on the mapping so inside the mapping everything is okay but if you have remember we are having the national id number so national id number should be the copy of the national id number because national id number 
containing non unicode characters and for the login id again for the job title for the marital status for the gender so we are okay with all these now let me click on okay so excel destination is also configured successfully but as of now it is static so go to on the excel connection manager and go to on the properties of this and here we should have the option for the expression so click on that here we should see the option excel file path so this property we need to make as dynamic so go to on the expression and here let me try to drag and drop this excel destination evaluate and click on ok and ok so everything looks good only we need to execute the package and we'll see the output that we are expecting so first go to on the folder so data should be available on this xyz excel file go to on the source this source file should be going to move inside the archive and data should be going to load it on this emp data table so this should be done while we are going to execute the package so go to on the ssdt and here let me click on the start so package should be executed successfully so as you can see this source file has been moved from this to the archive folder so that part is okay now go to on the source and inside the final we are having this excel file so the data which is matching with the existing table should be available on this excel file so that you could also see so that looks good now go to on the sql server and in this employee data table we should have the data those are available inside the source let me try to execute this so this should have the data as you can see so now go to on the ssdt let me try to stop this package so this is let me try to recap this so first in this data flow task we are going to load the data from the csv file to the sql server table second after loading this we are going to move the source to the destination of that file by using this file system task and in the second data flow task here we are going to match the loaded data with the existing tables data if we are going to found matching the data then moving that data into the excel file and parallelly we have done the file system task as well now if you want then you can deploy this package and at the runtime you can change the values of all these project level parameters and the connection managers that we have created so that you can do on your own and if you will face any issue then you can drop the comments on the comment section of this video so i'll try to respond on your comments so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video with a new interview question and answers